All right, guys, my Rock Three Two One here. Welcome back to the channel. This is another launch video. We got a little breeze today. Going to be flying a few rockets. We got the Mini Alpha right here, new release. So we're going to be flying that on an A four three A four A four. I think it's A four three ten. I forget what it was now. I forget what motors in there. But anyway, we're going to be flying that thirteen millimeter engine. Should get up there pretty good. I think it's going to go like maybe six or seven hundred feet. They say. But we will see how it goes. Subscribe to the channel. Check the links below. Discount code at SD's IN underscore 321. Pick yourself up some rocket stuff. My rockets 321. Let's go. All right, here we go. We got the Mini Alpha. Going on an A103T, I believe it was. I forget that engine. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Wow, out of sight. I heard it. It's all the puff. I don't see that streamer yet. I lost it. Maybe lost. It went to the clouds. It's gonna be over this way somewhere, so I gotta walk. That is a lost rocket. Look for something bright on. All right, guys, so for a minute there, I thought the Alpha was lost. It went really high, went out of sight, went into the cloud wasn't expecting I knew it would go high and I thought it would see the the streamer looked like the streamer got stuck that's why I didn't see it but I found the alpha right here wow did not push out the streamer at all so I don't know but we found it so that's what we wanted wow interesting it was packed nice and loose had some wadding down in there I don't know if these if the I don't know if you're hearing that wind or not off the um Ejection charge was strong enough to push that out. I didn't see a streamer at all. That's why I thought it was like lost loss, but Found it so Let's continue and that's a good ways away. We got a little breeze out here today It's my rock three two one be sure to subscribe and we will come back and discuss All right, just had a misfire going to try this again. The igniter didn't burn. I don't know what the deal was I just moved the clips up a little bit closer put them on a more flatter section of the igniter and we're going to try that again All right, here we go. We got the Century Vulcan going on a B64, going in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's a bad igniter. You can let that go. I'm gonna switch that igniter out. All right, here we go. We got the Century Vulcan going on a B64, and we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Let go. I don't know. All right, guys, this is a redemption flight. I got the flight fins all fixed for the Imperial Droid. So we're gonna be flying this on a D12-3. Um, it's all packed and ready to go. So let's give it a shot. It's my Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe, check the links below, use the discount code at SDs as always, and check my website and all that good stuff. My Rocks 321, let's do it. All right, here we go. We got the Imperial Droid going on a D12-3. Range is clear, sky is clear. Going in five, four, three, Two, one. Oh, there he is. Let's see, parachute, parachute out and good. Oh, the helmet came off. <laughs> helmet popped off. So we just had a detachment helmet came off and he's heading down, heading down. It's coming down nice. A lot of smoke on that D12-3. Nice flight though. Uh, hopefully, the, uh, hopefully his head survived and I see fins popped off but they have tape so the coming off is fine let's just see if everything survived that was a good little walk giving me a good little walk right near this tree so pretty cool good deal good deal let's get up to this and check it out wow guys that was nice nice flight though you can see the see the flame and everything on that one d12 threes to provide a nice kick for you so let's see what we got we did get parachute ejection oh i see what happened fins look like they did survive they popped off which is cool i only have them taped on fins popped off pretty nice parachute's good droid is good yeah this word this is the part that came off so i had this epoxyed into the head but came loose but other than that we're all good 
we're all good. It's going to check, make sure the helmet's good or his head. And we'll go from there. Smart Rocks 321. Subscribe. That was spectacular. Nice flight. All right, guys, so coming up now, you can see here where his head popped off. Um, he came down straight, landed good, no, whoa. <laughs> yeah, no damage. No damage came down, like, kind of stable, because there's nose weight in there. I added some clay. But everything else survived. The fins are still good. Those rare fins that you can't really get, but easy to put that back on. And good. So the Imperial Droid survived. I just gotta pick all this junk up. Well, we're good. All right, guys, you just witnessed three flights, so stay tuned for the debriefing that is coming right up. We will discuss these launches today. Not a great, great, perfect, perfect day, but it was fun. It's always good to get out and fly some rockets. So, Smile Rocks 321, be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the debriefing. Coming right up. Okay, it is debriefing time. You just witnessed three flights today. You saw the Mini Alpha. You saw the Century Vulcan and the R2 Q5. So today was a pretty, it was an okay day. I mean, had a little few issues here and there, a little couple issues. Starting with the Mini Alpha, I did not get complete ejection. The parrot fired, it ejected. I saw a puff and kind of lost the rocket in the air and I had to walk out and I found it. I knew it was still in the field and it didn't it went high but didn't go that high you can see here it burns all on the motor and everything um it definitely ejected everything's still good here so i glued my fins in but um yeah it got stuck i'm not sure what it was packed what I, which i thought was loose enough i had some yeah it fired but it did not let me shake some of this dust out of here i had some additional um I had some powder in there, some of the pink powder for spotting in case it went, you know, really, really high. It kind of went, I believe it went into the clouds a little. But ejection, I did see a puff. So I don't know. I think it was below the cloud. I'm going to say below the clouds. I saw the puff of dust or ejection dust happen. And um, it just came down. I couldn't see it because it didn't have a streamer and it's a white rocket. So... It landed out in the field. I was able to go and get it. Um, everything's still good. All the fins are still good. Everything's still intact. But that was the first flight. Um, these fly really went really nice. Um, like the Alpha is, you know, proven, proven model. It's just a mini Alpha. So that was the first flight. Took off nice, straight, true. It was cool. But the streamer did not come out. I don't understand what happened. It was packed nice and loose. And um, yeah. And that's the way it goes. I didn't. I had more motors with me. I could have flown this again. Actually, I didn't think about. It. I should have put another one up before the temperature gets too hot. It wasn't too bad, but it's slowly creeping up there. We're hitting 100 already. We're hitting 103. So it's seen to be a little bit later this year, which I do appreciate. It was like 80 something when we started. By the time we left, it was it was in the 90s, and um, right about now it's probably 100. So it kind of climbed up there pretty quick. But the Mini Alpha is a super. It's a pretty cool rocket. Here you can see some of the, when the ejection happened, it just goes through all the channels and it leaks out. So you can see some burns on the outside of these fins. This end cap motor retainer got kind of charred. As did the motor, yeah, that's all the burns on the side because it's kind of hollow in there when ejection happens. Yes, that's kind of got me wondering, look how burned up this motor is. So that's kind of interesting. So when it ejects, it did push the top off, but gases are going everywhere it's not really sealed wow that's a lot of, a lot of stuff falling out of this motor so it's like it's got burned all over the place instead of going where it should have went which is pushing the cap off the nose cone off but anyway that's that one guys that was the first flight second flight was the vulcan i was trying to send this on a b44 but the motor just had trouble lighting it just i think i used three three times it took me three try three tries all off camera i just um, didn't put that in the video but man it took a little while to get this one going i know this one's engine hooked the way this is set in here it's hard to pull out there we go but finally on the c63 it did work and it arched over and went back over my head into the wind and it flew kind of like a ship like that where i've had these fly straight for the most part over all the flights i've had were pretty straight early on i first got it i had to adjust for the center of gravity it was giving some crazy wild rise but on the c63 it gave it this you know different trajectory like a, a flying horizontal for the most part 
but it stayed in the field. The C63 kicked the uh, parachute out and it came on down and I was able to recover it. These are all paper shrouds, so they're pretty durable. Pretty durable. I actually restored this. It was, it was in pieces when I got it. This should be black, I believe. I may paint this black one day. But overall, it's a nice flyer, a nice flying rocket. Um, no complaints of that classic Century Taurus. Well, I'm, this is a big mess here now. Big, big mess. So last but not least, we had the R2Q5 Redemption Flight. Um, had I think the last time I flew it, it had... Um, it fell and it broke both these fins, cracked them. You can see where I fixed them. I can feel this one's kind of a little loose again. It's a little loose. So I may go ahead and um, re-glue this. Yeah, it's a little loose, but it held up. So it held up. I was able to fly and it, um, and it worked out well. This one's a little, um, this, one's, this one's solid. So both the fins are good. Flew it on a D12-3, which it flies nice, nice, nice on these motors. Um, any 24 millimeter motor, it flies great, perfect perfect flight just perfect power for this one um so there's a d12 three all spent let me wipe them off a little bit but the only issue was his head his head came off so when the ejection happened i guess it stretched out and it popped loose my epoxy so i'm gonna have to go back in there and fix up some of that pink dust out of there i really wanted to see like a big cloud a big a uh, puff of dust in the sky today. But it kicked off his um his head, and it just came down. When I looked over at it, it was coming down straight like that, and um no issue. But it landed on the grass, and we we're good. We we're good. Someone had to clean this all up and um glue this piece back in. Yeah, you can see where I had some glue. Yeah, I'm gonna get more glue in there. So yeah, I'll get this all fixed up, and he'll be a flyer. He's definitely a flyer. Um, pretty good, good rocket. Good rock. It just converted R2D2. I made him R2Q5. And um Yeah, here soon you'll see me flying my another I have but the R2D2 version. You'll see me flying that one. So I gotta bring that one show that one some love too. But the R2Q5, the Imperial Droid, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Nice flyer. Fins are good. These fins are this is the rare part right here. So in these legs. All of it really. You you, you can find these on eBay. Like I said, they're they're kinda kind of pricey they go up in price quite a bit i've seen one recently i think michael c subscriber had showed me an um, ebay i saw it myself on ebay one was going for like 80 bucks sealed in the package to get the fins you know and you have r2 unit and you'll have those fins again i just i just passed on it because i have these fins old they'll hold up for a while they'll hold up so but yeah that was cool and they pop off, which I don't mind because I tape them on. I tape the fins on. I put them on and I tape them on instead of screwing them, which it gives it a little give. So when it hits and they want to fly off, they can fly off instead of um, staying so rigid where they would get busted and cracked. Well, they did get busted and cracked, but that's a different deal. But anyway, guys, Model Rocks 321. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check the links below. Subscribe to the channel. Support any way you can. There's a shop down there. There's an SD store down there. Use discount code shop SDs. And um, that's all for today. We will see you on another video. And stay tuned. Model Rocks 321. And we are out.